Still on the band, this um, rape allegation saga, Tiwa Savage, Don Jazzy, Emma Yabaga, Rita Dominic have reacted to the arrest of Shane Ito. Tiwa tweeted and said, I hear you all and even though this is heartbreaking for me, my view is still the same. I stand strong with the victims of all sexual abuse, so I say this. One, victims should always speak out and speak the truth. Secondly, those found guilty must be punished to the full extent of the law. End of quote. And Don Jazzy tweeted, and in part it read, No matter how long a lie lasts, the truth will always prevail. The fact is that one of them is a victim and the law will protect that person. I stand firmly against rape and all injustices against women, children, and everyone, include, including oppression. I urge all victims to speak out. He had a thread of tweets and that's how much we can take from that. Then Emma Ayabaga says, society will not improve if we do not tear down the, syst the systemic methods by which women and girls who accuse people of violating them are silenced. There can be no sacred cows on this issue. End of quotes. And I think I... I love Emma Ayabaga's comments mm. more because that's basically hitting the nail on yeah. the head and um, not trying to sit on the fence. Mm. I understand sitting on the fence because, mm. I mean, your friends, your colleagues, you're working in the industry, but this is a sensitive matter and it has to be treated with caution as well. Mm. I, yeah, um, MI and Rita Dominic, I think, were the only ones I've personally seen that had the balls to, you know, speak up. I was highly disappointed in Hoke Makimura's comment. He can as well just go and sit down and not tweet about it. The problem with being on the fence is that I don't think you should be airing that opinion out personally. That's just me. I don't think if you are on the fence, you should be communicating that in public. Because on the fence, to me, is as good as not saying that you don't believe the person. So I'll have rather that they kept silent. Um, say her name, speak up, be... be direct say what you want to say i stand for women and children i stand for women. i stand i stand but like it's super um um cautious and too politically correct that it doesn't really add value to the conversation so i'll have just preferred if they didn't have if they didn't say anything at all um but personal opinion on twitter though i'm seeing that it's a it's a common trend here to, it's like oh, I think people just really don't know how to respond to rape in Nigeria, even the politically mm -hmm. correct way to respond in, in Nigeria, because people are defending the fact that or oh, the um, proof hasn't been it hasn't been proven yet, so you can't really say it hasn't been proven yet, and that seems to be something that people think that actually makes sense, but it doesn't. Um, usually, when a rape case happens, um, especially if there were no cameras or there was no witness, which is ninety percent of the time. You can't prove it. It's like ninety nine percent of exactly. It. So you can't prove it. Um, look, look at uh, Harvey's case, for example. Every single one of them that came out, he filed a lawsuit against every single one of them, and a lot of them he won because there's no evidence to that. It was twenty years after that we were able to gather some type of evidence. When someone, let's say, was lucky enough, can you even say that person was lucky enough to have some type of evidence and then was able to do that? So when you come out and say, let the justice do the system, let the person, uh, where's wait for justice? Like, there is no such thing. That's why this thing is so complicated. So you have to pick now or just keep quiet. I just want to say the band is in a lot of trouble, regardless of how he wants to look at it. Um, Regardless of what he does right now, I think this is not going to end well because um, the most recent information is that um, the Inspector General has probed the band, has um, asked for the band to be probed. Mm. So I think there's a little bit of justice because we will be. We're get getting to justice. Yeah, we're getting to justice. So I just know that he's in a lot of trouble if there's any truth in what is going on. Mm. Okay, um, we'll keep an eye on this story, but I, I really hope that the conversation progresses, sees into people, uh, people of influence, like you said, saying what is needed to be said or mm. actually just keeping quiet in order not to direct the focus where it shouldn't be. Because yes. right now, yesterday, when this whole reactions came up, I mean, they, are influen they have a lot of influence. So a lot of people were now going back to the conversation again to say, do you people understand rape? Do you understand mm. the evidences? Do you understand this? So I, I don't want them to be a distraction. I yeah. think that's the point of this conversation. So if you don't understand it or you want to be able to wait till your friend or your colleague is proven innocent or guilty before you said something, it's fine. Yeah. It's okay to keep quiet, yeah. but don't be a distraction yes. in this um, struggle. That's, yeah. that's what I think. Because if you start pointing out the law, then you are as well um, 
part of people oppressing the victim because you can't be stupid enough to say that you don't know that the law says the justice system oppresses the victims because of how it works with rape and I'm, i don't I'm necessarily think that the the system is deliberately built like that when to oppress them. The law will take its full course in Nigeria. Nigeria. Hmm. Not did you see talking Maki? Did you talking Maki once? I didn't see hers. Like yeah, it, it was ridiculous. Let um, police will we we trust that the police will be professional. Are you it, dumb? Like is it? Are is we it, talking is about it, the Nigerian police? It's already too late to have that conversation. The pro, the police so has please not been professional. You You've already arrested say. somebody. Um, wrongly, so it's clear that they are not professional. Why are you still asking for them to be professional? Like, are you what? what? We never know. Maybe they'll start their um, professionalism, professionalism from this from one. This case. Okay, cool.